Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Happy Monday. Let me know if you can hear me okay. If you'd like to say hello, you can unmute your mic. Hello. Hello, Ben. Good afternoon. Hello, guys. Hi, hello, teacher. Carol. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello, this, hello, the set, Caro, Marifer, Monse, Nigeli, Oralis, Oscar, Sylvia, and Wendy. Uh, today, guys, we're going to jump right into it. I would want to continue working on the activity that we started last week. Specifically, last Friday, we started, um, actually, we were completing our matrix, our progress matrix, and we started a wiki. Today, we're going to continue adding a little bit of information today to the wiki that we started last Friday. Remember that progress, this whole project that we're, this task that we're working on, really relates to looking at change over time from the past to the, pre to the present and thinking about progress in terms of change for the better, right? We can acknowledge and we can accept that today there are still many issues and many problems with many of the topics that, uh, that we're discussing <clears throat> in terms of progress. And uh, I would accept that. But I want to focus this project on focusing specifically on areas that have been approved upon. All right, so we looked at last week a video that talked about specific topics that relate to progress, like life, health, sustenance, prosperity, peace, freedom, safety, knowledge, leisure, and happiness. And we also looked at some additional relatable topics that focus on progress when we looked at the wiki page, this PDF file titled Progress. So hopefully you had some, you got some good ideas about what you wanted to focus on. Again, we want to focus on the positive aspects from some period in the past. It could be the last five years, the last 10 years, 20, 50, 100, whatever information that you have found online. And if they mention a period, right, that's the, that's the period that you can focus on. If they, if they talked about this study being within the last 20 years, then that's going to be your time frame. But again, we're going to focus on the positive. Today, we're going to look at our wiki again. And uh, I made a slight change in the instructions. And we are going to add to what we started last Friday. Last Friday, we took the information from our progress matrix and we brought over from the matrix to our wiki the following. A topic or title, anywhere from six to 12 words. So make sure in your wiki, the very first thing in your wiki includes a title. Below the title, we're going to continue with a context and measurements. Both the context and measurements is probably going to be one to three Sentences, make sure that you're using complete sentences. Make sure you have a subject and a predicate or a subject, verb, object, uh, for example. And then below the measurements, we're going to include the references. I should say at least one reference, a reference or references. Okay, anywhere from one to four, I think, is plenty for this task. But we want to make sure we write out our references according to APA. So remember when you are developing your, your reference according to APA that you're careful with capitalization. Make sure that you have italicized the correct text. Make sure that you're italicizing the right part of the reference. Every reference has some text that's italicized. So if you're looking at your own example and you're not italicizing anything, then we, you need to revisit your reference and find what part of the reference needs to be in italics. Make sure you're careful with punctuation, spacing, et cetera. Right? And these are things we can work together on uh, if you have not been able to find an example online. I would encourage you to, to look first yourself and see if you can find an example of your particular example of your reference either in the APA presentation that we've talked about last week 
I've included the link here, or just doing a search in Google or DuckDuckGo and look online to see what you can find. Okay, it's very important that you're able to find these examples so that you can use those as a guide whenever you're create creating your own reference. But of course, if you have some issues, we can work at, at it uh, together and I can upload some examples as well if you need it. So we worked on those four items, the topic, the context, the measurements, and the references last week. Again, make sure before you bring over any information to the wiki from the matrix that the matrix is first, it's been completed. If for any reason you're making changes to the wiki, I'm going to ask that you, in terms of the context and the measurements, uh, well, and the topic, make sure that you go back. I'm going to ask that you go back to the matrix and make those changes. The first four pieces of information that I have listed here in the wiki, it's important that this information is the same as in the matrix so that you guys can see who's doing what. All right, we want to make sure at the end of the day when we finish this task on Friday that everyone is talking about something different in terms of progress, that we're really not looking at the, the same piece of information or that we're not talking about exactly the same thing. So we want to make sure that the context are different. And the only way, I think the best way to do this is to make sure that we update the matrix and we share that amongst all of us so that we're all aware of what's going on. Make sure that you're contacting your classmates if you need to clarify any of the topics, again, to try to make sure that you're not talking about the same thing. Today, we're going to add to the uh, to the wiki by including evidence sentences. So today, I'd like for you to include at least two evidence sentences that relate to your topic. So we're going to be writing a paragraph. I'm going to let me tell you what we're working towards uh, this week. We're not uh, developing a paragraph right now, but for by Thursday, we want to try to have completed the paragraph. And on Friday, we're going to do something different than what we did the last activity. All right. Uh, for Thursday, again, we want to develop a five to eight paragraph that relates to our topic, that, re that relates to our title. But on Friday, I'm going to ask that you read aloud and record yourself reading your, your paragraph. One of the things that I recommend all students when you are writing, especially academic text, that you listen, you read your, your work, your text out loud, and listen to the language so that you, you get used to, first of all, listening to yourself and your pronunciation, but also you're listening to your grammar, the text that you're using, the way your style, your writing style, and that you're actually listening to yourself. Sometimes you can even catch certain mistakes or just maybe even sentences that sound kind of weird when you listen to it, when you listen to yourself, read it. All right, but that's what we're working towards this week. Today, we're not worried about a, a paragraph, and I don't want anyone to write a paragraph yet in the wiki. Today, we want to focus on at least two sentences. I would say anywhere from two to four is plenty. And I'd like for you to think about the question words when you write out your evidence. And so I've provided here an example of how you can go about completing this section of your wiki, your evidence section. What I would do is I would write out in bullet points, numbered points, I should say, and start first with the question word that, that you think the evidence mostly relates to. Every piece of evidence is or should be a specific example of something, a specific detail, a statistic, a fact, Right, some information that directly relates to your title, but that is specific in nature, and it's going to answer one of the question words. How, why, when, where, with whom. So think about 
when you're looking at your evidence sentences, the information that you're using that you found in the articles, maybe you found it in a video, maybe you found it in a news broadcast or a news uh, newspaper article online, but ask yourself, which question word does it best answer? When you write out the evidence sentences in the wiki, I would write out the question word first, followed by a colon, and then add your sentence, your complete sentence. All right, so uh, followed by, I should say, followed by the citation. Okay, so we're going to have our sentence, and then we're going to have the parenthetical citation. Remember, the parenthetical citation occurs within the parentheses as opposed to the narrative citation. We're all going to use parenthetical citations, and I would like for you to paraphrase, all right? So express in your own words the idea that's coming from an outside source. Now, a trick to paraphrasing is not looking at what you're going to write and then immediately try to put it in your own words. Try to read it through, think about it for a few minutes, and don't look at the text. Let some time go by and then go in and write out the sentence, making sure that you're not using any of the same words. Well, I should say you're not using, there may be some key words that you're using, but you're not gonna be using uh, two or three words in a row that are exactly like what you found in the article or the video, all right? So again, we want to paraphrase and we wanna use the parenthetical citations, making sure that we begin each sentence with the question word that it relates to followed by a colon. All right, so I, this is what I would like for us to work on. And uh, does anyone have any questions about, um, about what we're doing today or what we did last Friday? Okay, I guess if there are no questions at this point. Oh, yes, go ahead. So we will have like um, more references because we need to cite our, our evidence. So since we are citing something, we need the reference for that citation, right? And we have to add, add them to the reference um, place. Yeah, so last Friday, you were asked to include references, right, that you were thinking about from the matrix, okay, according to APA. All right, so if you if you have those, you know, anywhere from one to four references is, is enough, okay? Now, the citations I'm asking <clears throat> for at least two citations. So you could have two citations from the same reference, all right? Two different parts of, I don't know, the the website or the video, whatever source you're using, it's possible to cite more than once from the same source. So the references, this was part of last Friday's activity where uh, we're bringing over references written out <clears throat> according to APA. But the, evident, the citations now <clears throat> are going to be coming directly from the references. We should never have a citation without a reference nor should we ever have a reference without a citation. So, yeah, you decide if you need, you know, anywhere from one to four references. I think four is kind of a lot, but depends on what you're citing. And, uh, yeah, at least try to have at least two cit uh, citations. Okay, does that, does that answer your question, Wendy? Yeah, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Anybody else have any questions? Ben, so today we need to find at least three sentences to support or to give more information about a word title. Um, you need to find, you need to develop uh, two sentences at least that answer 
how, what, why, when, or where, or with whom that, that relates to your title. And the ideas should come from the references. It's not really trying to find necessarily a specific sentence in, from the source. I mean, it could be, but not necessarily. Uh, the way that you worded it, you said, oh, it's, is, are we trying to find at least two sentences? It's more about finding ideas that you think can, that you can put together. Let, let me give you an example. Let's say that you find three, two or three sentences from uh, a news article online. Let's say you find two or three sentences that, that have different pieces of information that you want that you think says how something is going on, how something, how progress has worked, okay? Now, what you could do is, in one sentence, bring together those ideas from those three sentences in a way that is meaningful for the, your paragraph, right? So that, that would be one sentence where you brought ideas that came from, let's say, three sentences, and maybe the, you're not talking about all the information in all three of those sentences, but there are certain key ideas that link together that you say, okay, I'm going to put it in my own words, but I'm going to bring together those ideas from those three sentences into one meaningful sentence that talks about how, for example, that relates to your title. And then you would do the same for the next. Now, maybe... Maybe you're just bringing in one idea from one sentence. That's also a possibility. It just totally depends on how you're, you know, are, are you talking about why, if you're going to talk about why, how much information do you need to speak about to answer the question why in terms of your six to 12 word title? Okay. Does that, does that make sense? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? All right, I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic and my um, and my camera. I'm going to be here if you guys have questions. I'll be primarily in the wiki looking around um, and making comments as necessary. But again, feel free to jump in, unmute your microphone, and uh, ask questions if you have any doubts. All right, guys, we're getting uh, close to the end of the class, and I wanted to spend just a few minutes, uh, if, I, if I could get all of your attention, to take a look at my screen. I'd like for all of you to take a look again at your references. The hard part about APA is following, uh, following the, the details in terms of what's capitalized, what's not capitalized, what exactly do we include and not include in the references? So I want to show you some examples, and I want you to compare the examples that I share with you here today with your own examples. So I want to start by showing you an example of a newspaper article reference. All right, now looking at my screen here, hopefully you can see this, uh, but I want you to pay close attention first how they begin the reference. So anytime you have an author or authors, right, and this applies to not only a newspaper article or a blog post, but just about any type of source. If you have an ben, author, yes. Are you sharing your screen? Because I cannot see it. Okay, sorry. Let me check here. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. All right. Let's take a look here again at the example. All right. So we're looking at an example of a newspaper article. And again, as I was saying, if you have an author, 
most of the time you're going to begin the reference with the author's last name. Now, pay close attention here how they list the authors. It begins with the author's last name followed by a comma. Then the first initial. The word initial, if I ask you what are your initials, you're going to provide the first letter of each of the, your names. For example, my name is Benjamin Lee Stewart. My initials are BLS. So in this case, this first initial refers to the person's first name. So we don't need to write out the whole first name. We only need to include the first initial. Now, sometimes you will see two initials like and with a period after each initial. So if the person has two names, they may decide to include both initials. All right, so you're either going to see one initial with the followed by a period or two initials, each initial followed by a period. They're both correct. Either is fine, but you need to have at least one of the first names, uh, one of the, the initials to one of the first names included in the reference. All right, so again, we have the last name followed by a comma, then the first initial followed by a period, then a space, then in parentheses we have the usually the year or maybe the the month and the day as well. This will depend on the type of reference. In this case, we have the month and the day because typically newspapers are coming out every day. And so they want that precision in the citation in the reference. All right. Now, after the citation, after the citation, after the, the parentheses, we have a period followed by a space and then we have uh, in this case, how will humanity react to alien life? This is going, going to be the, uh, the title of the article, which also includes uh, psychologists have some predictions. All right? So all of that is the title of the article, the, of the newspaper article. All right, again, this is an article found online, but we want the article, we want the whole title of the article. Notice that only the first the first letter of the word is capitalized. In this case, how is capitalized in psychologists because these are sentences and we began a sentence with a capital letter. Notice that the rest of the sentence is in lowercase. All right, then we then we have a period followed by the Washington Post. This is the news organization or maybe the name of the website. All right, so many of you are using I think examples that fall into this type of reference where you have a news organization, you have an article that you found online, and it's a news source. So in this case, we have the Washington Post, and it may be hard to see, but notice that the title of the news organization, it's in italics, right? So the Washington Post is italicized, and we're capitalizing the main words. Of course, we we capitalize the first word, the, and then the main words, Washington and Post, followed by a period. Notice that the text, the italicized text, only goes up to the, to the to the period. Notice that the link is not italicized. It's just regular text. All right, so this is the level of detail that you need to follow when you're looking at examples and you're looking at your own example and trying to follow what it is, right, that you're following. You need to follow the example as much as possible. All right, notice that there's no other indication of date anywhere. I know it's kind of embedded in the link, but there's no other date other than the date that's included in the parentheses at the beginning. All right, so take a look, guys, at your at your own examples. And this here, this is a website with a group. Some of you have groups, like there's no author, there's not an individual, but a whole association. Basically, the article is written uh, from by the whole organization or at least a group of people from the organization. But basically, no one is going to put their individual name or names on on the, the uh, post. So in this case, we would have, for example, World Health Organization. This is going to be the name of the page, right? Or the web, I should say the website. It's the whole website 
and it's called the World Health Organization. And then notice we have in parentheses the year and then the, the, the month, followed by a period. And then we have questions and answers on immunization and vaccine safety. Now, this is the name of the article or the web page. This is where the information is coming, and there's a title. Uh, this is where it's coming from, and this is where you're going to get the title of the web page. So again, World Health Organization is the website. Questions and answers, this is the title of the page within the site. Notice that the title of the page is italicized, from questions until safety. This is all italics. It's all in italics. And then we have the link that follows. All right, so this would be another example. I think some of you have uh, some types of references that would fall under this category. So take a look at what you have, compare it to these examples that I'm sharing with you, as well as other examples that you have found online that you also know are reliable. And uh, double check your references. This is precisely why we're doing this activity is to get some practice in writing out references and also citations. This is something we're going to work all week on, but I want you to begin early on this week to check and recheck both the references and the citations to make sure that you're following APA. Any questions, guys, about, about APA, about how to write out your references or citations? I have one, Ben. Um, is there a chance to write a, a reference with no date? Yes. Now, before I tell you how to do that, I want you to make sure that you check. There's, def there's a couple of different ways that you can check for the date. So let's say that you're in a web page and there's no date in the web page or on the web page. I'd like for you to go to the main website. All right, so any, any given website is going to have a lot of web pages, right? So you're going to be looking at a web page within the website. So if there's no date on the web page, I want you to go to the main home page the web of the website, like the, the main page of the website. Sometimes they will only post the year at the very bottom, maybe at the uh, of the main of the home page. And if you can find a date, right after looking at the web page, there's no date. If you find a date at the on in the home page, then you can use that date. Now, let's say that you go to the main page of the home page of the website, and you still are not able to find a a date. Then. And within the parentheses, you're going to put N, as in no, N-D, no date. It's going to be an abbreviation. So you're going to write lowercase N period, lowercase D period. Again, it's an abbreviation for no date. And that's going to go within the parentheses. So no date, N-D, N period, D period, all lowercase. And that's what you would do if after you've checked the home page or the main page of the website and you still are not able to find a date, then you can use that abbreviation. Okay, so I'm checking it now and it has the year only. So okay. should I put that's only fine. the year? Only the year, that's right. Okay. okay, got it, Ben. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. All right, guys, we're, we're almost uh, closing in here at the end of the class. Bring in your questions uh, during the live sessions. We can also spend this time double-checking APA, but I'd like for us to check a little bit each, each day. I'm going to be going in and also checking to see how your uh, references are coming together. But uh, pay close attention to this level of detail, right? What's capitalized, what's not, the spacing, the punctuation, which text is italicized, which text is not, right? All of those details. Uh, can be, I think, uh, it can be easier if you can find an example that you can use 
when you compare what you have. All right, guys, I think we'll stop there and uh, we'll continue this task tomorrow. And um, again, if you guys have questions about APA, you can either ask, shoot me a, a message in the chat, or of course we can take advantage of these live sessions and use these to clarify doubts as well. All right, guys, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you, Ben, you too. Thank you, bye. Bye, Ben, see you.